888-747-4556. That's the number you can call to leave me a voicemail that I may very well play back in a live video stream. I'm doing daily shows every evening, 6 p.m. Pacific, on my Twitch account, and I've got a voicemail that we're going to listen to, a question from someone in the community. Chris Perillo, hey, what's up, man? Hope, hope you're doing well. Uh, this is Robert Garza, a.k.a. R. Garza 10 um, I just saw your message on the Discord channel, um, so I wanted to reach out and uh, ask you a question for tonight's uh, Twitch stream. So, um, quick Star Wars question for you. If you had to choose one, if you could only live with one of these items, uh, which would it be? Uh, the Star Wars films? All of them, you know, one through nine? Or your Star Wars figures? Um, in other words, you know, if you could only have one of these things, um, you know, for the, for the rest of your life, you know, being able to watch all the movies, or um, having your extensive uh, Star Wars collection, and you know, obviously future um, figures as well. Which would it be? All right, thanks, man. Looking forward to uh, tonight's stream. Take care. You too. By the way, Roberto is here in chat, the live stream on Twitch. My username across pretty much every social media platform is Chris Perillo. Follow me there, turn on notifications, and of course, you can also send me a voicemail. Okay, to answer the question, I'm not dodging. I'm not dodging. I'm not dancing. All the movies are all the stuff. Uh, so I've seen the movies. This is the thing, right? Now, unless you meant I can no longer watch any kind of Star Wars media. Now, that's an interesting question. Because I could easily sideline never watching the Star Wars stuff that has been produced. But to sideline any Star Wars visual production, media production, TV series, film series, what have you, over like getting rid of the collection, which one? Which one would I just cut off and move forward with? <laughs> you have no idea. I hadn't even thought about this answer before I screened the voicemail. Oh, boy. Well, let me ask you this. What would you do? Forget my answer for a second. What would you do? Huh? And, and, and by the way, I, I, I like the question. I like the question. As much as you like the video, you may not like my answer. I'm not even sure what I'm going to say. I mean, I, I just, I, I, I believe having grown up with the movies, most of my enjoyment of the franchise was specifically the figures, right? And playing with the figures and collecting the figures and, and going over to someone's house and seeing their figures and, and just enjoying the films all over again without having seen the films. I, I'm not even sure if I've seen any of the Star Wars films more than, oh, I, I hesitate to put a number on it, but a finite amount. Certainly. They're not playing in the background. Like, in my play shop, in the average day, if I just want to zone out, lately, I've been tuning into the live broadcast that Hasbro's got on YouTube, playing G.I. Joe episodes from the 80s back-to-back. -back. And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Oh, what would I do? Well, I, I believe it would be... Oh, uh, so challenging to do. That's what I believe. I am inclined to say, as much as this pains me, <laughs> oh, uh, okay, now I'm stalling. I reserve the right to change my mind. Because <sighs> so much of Star Wars for me has been the collecting. And the figures, and the, and the playing, and enjoying it beyond the media. I, yeah, I'm going to say collecting. I, I'm going to say my collectibles, if I had a choice. And I, I'll clarify. If I had a choice between being able to watch all the Star Wars stuff that's already been done in my collectibles, I think the easy answer would be my collectibles, because I've already made those memories. 
But even when the question is, would I want to see all the Star Wars visual media versus continuing down the collection path, I, I'd still go down the collection path. Because, A, I wouldn't have erased my memories of what's already been done. And I already know that Coming Down the Pike is a series of new Star Wars stuff. But I can't imagine enjoying it the same way. It would be, let me put it this way, it'd be painful either way. Because I know inevitably if, if, if someone enjoyed a series, say like The Mandalorian, and I couldn't see it because I had made this decision that you've laid out before me, this, this very strange but really good question, I, uh, I would feel hurt. I'd feel pain because everyone was saying it was great and I couldn't see it. But I have the collectibles. And like, I, I, oh, this is cool. The Mandalorian is cool. And what's this character? Grogu? Okay, I guess that makes sense. So I would be able to still collect the products from the new things I couldn't see, I'd, I'd kind of be okay with that. Because at some points in the past, I have collected items that I knew nothing about simply because they look really cool. And, and it, it actually pulled me into the fandom. I, I, I could make a sacrifice and just watch the visual media, but then I would want to turn around and, and, and possibly get something. But I don't get some things, I don't get items or necessarily collect beyond Star Wars, usually. There are exceptions, and usually those are vintage exceptions. Or a variation thereof. I, uh... Because I don't, I mean, I enjoy a lot of things. But I don't go out and start collecting those items. But Star Wars and collecting, that's, that's why I love Star Wars. And it comes down to collecting and enjoying and and reveling in that modern or vintage or retro and that's fascinating to me more fascinating than a, a five poa one thing or another it's specifically like a five poa star wars action figure that would be um sad for me but uh, i would steer the way of collecting what about you seriously you got a comment you got to let me know whether you're watching the live stream because I'm streaming this live on twitch.tv slash Chris Perillo. I guess it's also twitch.com slash Chris Perillo. It now goes both ways, which is cool. Links are everywhere, as are Zelda's. Ganon's as well. I want to know what you think. Seriously, what would you do? This is a tough decision because I guarantee you're going to start commenting and then you're going to say, wait, 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 wait. That's you backspacing. Unless you just hold, that's not as much fun to make a sound effect for. And then it just keeps going. You know what I'm saying, like with the backspace. Anyway, uh, what do you think? What would you do? Well, one thing you can do is ask me a question. Drop me a line in voicemail. 888-PERILLO, 888-74556. I'm tripped up. This question has just got me perplexed. And of course, keep following throughout social media. Very happy to have you. Follow and subscribe wherever you do. May the force be with you, always.